This new time also tracking a deadly shooting in Providence. One man killed, another injured just streets away from Hope High School and North Main Street. And we're learning more about the victims. Let's go to Eyewitness News reporter Eric Ritchie, who's been tracking the developing news for us all morning. Well, Providence Police just briefed us on these new developments just an hour ago. We now know who the man is who was killed, a possible reason why, and that a second man who was shot was the victim of a stray bullet. Now, we spoke with the captain just a little while ago. Unfortunately, we don't have that sound for you right now, but we can tell you that the man who was hit by a stray bullet was in his apartment at the University Heights neighborhood in the Nicholas Brown apartments around 1030 last night when that stray bullet went through the sliding glass door of his apartment. Now, he is 28 years old and in critical condition, we're told by police, but he is expected to survive. Police identify the man who was killed as 28-year-old James Goddard of Providence. He doesn't live in Nicholas Brownyard Apartments, but was sitting in a car outside of them when he was shot in what police say may be an act of gang retaliation. Now, police are not sure if Goddard and the suspect knew each other, but they do believe that Goddard was targeted. And they do tell us that uh, it appears or that they know that Goddard has a record with them, but in any case, he did not deserve to die last night the way that he did. They are, in the meantime, stepping up patrols in the university City Heights neighborhood. While the suspect remains at large, they're understanding that if in fact this is gang retaliation, that retribution could be on the horizon here. And so they want to make sure that there are no more innocent victims. This is the city's seventh homicide this year. We'll continue to monitor the developments and bring them to you right here on WPRI. For now, live in Providence, I'm Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.